Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I have a game that I would consider a must play just for the sheer enjoyment it's brought me over the years. But let's talk about the studio for a second who created it. Insomnia Games has been making a name for themselves for years now, and honestly, they've been one of the best development studios in recent years. They have some notable games under their belts such as Spyro the Dragon, Ratchet and Clank, and the Resistance franchise. Needless to say, they're also a studio that isn't afraid to take leaps into the unknown. And that is something I definitely admire. After playing their version of Spider-Man, it reminded me a lot of a game that I played back in 2014. This was a game that I truly fell in love with for its goofy yet charming characters, extensive weaponry, and vivid world building. And of course, the game I'm referring to is called Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive is an incredible game that truly feels like the developers just added a copious amount of fun into it. It's a third-person action-adventure game that doesn't hold back on the action one bit. And a lot of its charm is that it makes you feel like you're playing in this comic book type of world. It imitates art through destruction as words pop up around you when you take action. Another part about Sunset Overdrive that I really love is that it lets you customize basically all of your main character, and it lets you embrace the fun fully without making you feel like someone is holding your hand. The game will start you off as an employee of a company called Fizco. This company has made an energy drink that literally mutates any human who drinks it. And your journey begins right as the mutation begins to inhabit the dystopian Sunset City. It's there that you'll meet other survivors that will assist you on your takedown of Fisco, as well as open the doors to you for any other practical needs. One of my favorite gameplay mechanics of this game is the movement. It feels like a nice mix of Jet Set Radio meeting Tony Hawk Pro Skater, but imagine a combat system integrated into that. It's no wonder that Spider-Man is doing so well. Insomniac practically perfected that formula nearly a decade ago with this game. You can even wall run, grind on zip lines and guardrails, and even run and gun while doing so freely exploring the world around you and taking down any mutants that stand in your way. And the open world around you is your playground, it feels so good knowing that any direction that you choose will lead you into having a good time. After being Sunset Overdrive about three times now, I go back every now and then just because I love the stylization that it brought. It's bright and it's vibrant. Nearly everywhere you look is colorful and the world is bleeding beauty. I always felt comfortable and eager to explore Sunset City even going around collecting the odd collectibles scattered on streetlights and rooftops. And I'll be honest, not many games have that many collectibles that are as fun to get in this game. To me, what makes it even better is that the music score is a nice blend of rock and alternative, and it flows so nicely whether you're just traversing the rooftops or taking out mutated humans. Despite all the other big games that I had mentioned before, Sunset Overdrive was actually Insomniac's first open world game. And this is what I meant when I said that they're not afraid to take a leap of faith. It worked, at least for me. I always had fun, even in death. Oh, and for those who have never played before, every death would lead you into another pop culture reference. And as the movie buff that I consider myself to be, that was something that always put a smile on my face. Sometimes I would even let my character die just to see what would happen next. And I love this game for that. It lets you enjoy the little things and everything in between. I can go on and on about why I love this game, but listening to me ramble on and on about what made me happy or laugh isn't really why I'm making a video on Sunset Overdrive. I'm making this video to bring awareness to a game that I believe deserves a lot of love because of the amount of love that was put into it by its developers. Not only is Sunset Overdrive a game that is worth your time, but it's a game that should be held to a standard across all development studios. It pours fun in every direction and lets you roam free with little to no restriction. There's a part of me that hopes that somebody over at Insomniac watches my video. I hope they know how good this game really was, and I really hope they know how much I appreciated it. I know it may never happen, but I do like to stay optimistic. I'm even hoping that one day we get a sequel to this excellent adventure. And if you yourself haven't played this game yet, do yourself a favor and pick it up and have a blast. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. Thank you for stopping by and letting me ramble on. My name is Zen, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll catch you in the next one.